So friends, we continue to monitor the situation on the fronts as of February 16, 2023. On the border with White Moscow, no changes. Spot of shade, the Katsapas managed to occupy Ryanikayuka. Attempts by the enemy to improve their tactical position continue. In the Kremenaya area, the enemy's attempts to break through the defenses in the Dobrova and Kuzmini areas continue. Bakhmut shade, all attacks in the city of Bakhmut are repelled. The enemy is preparing to resume attacks on the road to Kostantinivka. In Periskovivka, the enemy continues to push the defense forces out of the village and attacks in the direction of Berkhivka. In Krasnaya Gora, the enemy is filming dead fighters in swamp camouflage and with S-march harnesses, posing as our fighters. Avdivsky Shade, ongoing battles in Krasnohorivka. Near Kashtanovo, the enemy advanced unsuccessfully. Despite the criticality of the situation in Nevelsky, it was once again possible to repulse the enemy's attack. In Mariansa, the enemy is trying to push through the farm from the north. A video appeared from the city, where our lost KSP was recorded, where there was a collection point for the dead. The location is being established, maybe someone will recognize the place. Zaporizhia Shade. The enemy continues to attack the Mariupol Highway, but the only thing he managed to occupy is one landing. Torian Shade. No changes. Analytical note. Katsaps make considerable efforts to enter the rear of the Bakhmut garrison through one of the flanks. Since the attempt in the south turned out to be unsuccessful, all forces of the militants were sent to the exit along the dobovo vasilivka berkhivka yagidny line. The situation is difficult near Ryanikovka, along the makivka dobrova kremina line, around Avdivka and in Marienka. It becomes increasingly difficult to cling to the latter, as the city is completely destroyed. Presidents Putin and Lukashenko will hold a meeting on February 17. This was previously announced by the talking head Peskov and reported by the Bulbul Fuhrer during a meeting with journalists. He also noted that an important appeal to the people is expected in the near future. Probably, the issues of security and union state will be discussed. I am ready to fight together with the Russians from the territory of Belarus in only one case so far, if at least one soldier from there comes to us to kill my people. If they commit aggression against Belarus, the response will be the most brutal. And the war will take on a completely different character, Lukashenko said, adding that this applies not only to Ukraine. You say, invasion. And I believe that it is not an invasion. This is not an invasion. The Ukrainian authorities themselves provoked this operation. Here are similar actions. I only named some of them. It was necessary then to agree with Russia that there would be no war. But everything was aimed, starting with the Minsk agreements, to start the war. There was no invasion. I believe that this is the protection of the interests of Russia and those people who live there, Russian people. The Russian military is not in Belarus to attack Ukraine, Lukashenko says. According to him, they are undergoing combat coordination with Belarusian military personnel, to be ready together, if necessary, to repel aggression against Belarus. On February 22, a meeting of the State Duma and the Security Council of the Russian Federation is expected, and on the 21st, the Supreme Council will make an annual address to the Federal Assembly. Thanks for watching. Everything will be Ukraine.